If you've been in Oklahoma very long, you know about tornadoes. When it comes to tornadoes, you usually have advanced warnings, and you can usually seek shelter and be safe. My personal tornadoes were different, very different. You see, my tornadoes were inside my head, and sometimes they would take over my whole body. Things like I couldn't stop from kicking my legs, even when I was trying to sleep. My tornado scared me, and I didn't know what to do. I felt hopeless. My tornadoes would cause me to be super stressed and not let me focus on just one thing. It was hard for me to make friends because no one really wanted to be around me, and I couldn't sit still or stop worrying. It felt like something bad was always going to happen to me, so I always needed to check the doors and windows to make sure they were locked and that we were safe. It wasn't until I was about 10 that we really started to figure things out. I had strep throat a lot. My mom said the first time I had it, I was about three and I had it a bunch after that too. My doctor started thinking that maybe the strep was causing my tornadoes in my mind. When we started to figure it out, we did lots of blood tests. My mom said I had super high strep levels and that I should be in the record book. After all the tests, my doctors confirmed that I had pandas or pans. I really like to say what it stands for because it makes me sound super smart and scientific. PANDAS is short for Pediatric Autoimmune Neuropsychiatric Disorder Associated with Streptococcal Infections. It seems like after I started antibiotics, things started to get better. After a while, my tornadoes were gone and I began to feel normal. Since then, when I get sick, my tornadoes come back a little bit, but now that we know how to treat it, we're able to fix it and get back to feeling normal. Thank you for letting me share my story.